What's up guys, I'm Caddy here, now today I'm bringing you guys a brand new OU Live, which is going to be in two parts, like they always are at the minute, uh, based around Mega Beedrill. Now, this is a team that I made quite a while ago, and what I've done is I've actually taken it, retested it, and rebuilt it, and sort of uh, tweaked it to a point where I'm much happier with it, and it should be a lot of fun to use. So, what we've got here is Billy, the Mega Beedrill, with adaptability. Uh, why is that? It should not be adaptability on there. Uh, it must have been when I converted it. But what we're going to go on is just swarm, just so we do get, we'll normally mega up, but uh, I, don't, I don't think there's much difference to uh, what, what ability he actually has. So what we've got in here is U-turn, poison jab, draw run, and knockoff. Now this is the big question, protect or not? If you unprotect, you do miss out on heat, uh, draw run and things like that, which means you can handle heat run a lot better. It is really, really hard to know what to do, um, but it does then require you only being able to set up on slower mons. So, um, it can be quite, it's, it's very situational, is what I'm trying to say. And Poison Jab as well lets us hit fairy types a lot harder. It, yeah, it's really tricky to know what to go for here. I've decided to stick with the four moves because I've already got, um, a couple of other fast things that should be able to deal with some of the faster threats and not force me to, uh, go for Protect on Beedrill and actually give it a bit more coverage, uh, to actually sort of help it hit a lot harder. Next up, we've got Landris T, our choice scarf with Intimidate, with Earthquake, Stone Explosion. A lot of you guys know I'm a big fan of Explosion on Landris. And then finally, U-Turn as well. So Explosion lets us take out big, sort of scary threats and uh, anything that we know we're going to struggle to beat. And then finally, obviously, U-Turn starts off a bit of a Volt Turn core going on there. Next up, we've got Rotom Wash, which is our defensive world maul with Hydro Pump, Volt Switch, Will-O-Wisp. And then finally, Pain Split. I did try to work out when to go for a rest or a pain split but i think pain split works a little bit better and what we've got here is uh, 252 in hp i might actually cut that down very slightly to 48 and then we want a little bit of speed creeping going on there so i might just yeah a little bit of tweaking there uh so what that means is we're slightly less defensive but that speed creep may make a little bit of difference because uh it means we handle other def hit first with defensive rotom washes and uh, a few other things as well so hopefully that's going to make a little bit of difference, that tiny bit of investment there. Next up we've got Reiku, which is our life orb. Uh, Reiku, which should hopefully hit pretty hard. Uh, we've got extra sensory volts, which him power ice and thunderbolt. Now this is our answer to, first of all, it's kind of our secondary answer to Talonflame. Maybe third answer to Talonflame, actually look at it. <laughs> but it's also our answer to Mega Scizor. Oh, not Mega Scizor, Mega Venusaur. Because Mega Venusaur could cause our team quite a bit of problems. As you can see, there's not many ways we can handle it, especially if it's physically defensive. But at least then extra sensory means we can hit that guy really hard with an extra sensory. Life Orb coming off that special attack should do quite a decent chunk of damage. And um, allow it, even if Reiku then goes down, we can still revenge kill from there. So that's, that's the answer there for um, that. We've got Volt Switch on there and Thunderbolt, so we can stay in and Thunderbolt. Or go for Volt Switch if we want. And then finally, HP Ice as well, because that helps us deal with Gly scores and a few other things that does sort of give our team a little bit of trouble. Next up, we've got Heatran, which is especially defensive with Lava Plume, Stealth Rock, Toxic, and Raw with uh, Flash Fire. So that helps us take uh, fire moves directed at both Billy and also Scizor as well. And then we've got 240 in HP and then Max Bedef. And then finally, just 16 in Special Attack. We could probably actually uh, bring this up to 248 just to maximize because our HP is lower. Uh, then our special defense, uh, yeah, it's probably worth doing that, uh, just to maximize our special defense nature. So this is our sort of, almost, it's not really a pivot, but it's our sort of go-to wall, especially for things like Mega Gardevoir and stuff like that. Next up, we've got Sizzle, which is a bulky Sizzle. So it's got um, 60 in defense and then 200 in special defense. So it should be a really, really bulky and sort of round off a really nice Rotom Heatran Sizzle core with Defog, Roost, Bullet Punch, and then finally U-Turn as well, completing a, uh, a yeah, it's a, a five-member Volt Turn core, so that should be quite interesting. Also to note on, yeah, we've also got Rocks on there with the Heat Heatran as well, which is really nice, so that means we can still set up our Hazards. This also gives us an opportunity to get rid of Hazards as well, especially with Hazard Stack teams and stuff like that, which um, Volt Turn teams really struggle against, so that's the plan for that one. So what we're going to do is uh, actually jump straight into a battle, uh, let me see, can I find it? <laughs> this is always the bit, Untitled 24, I really should name my teams, um, Untitled 20... 
Untitled 24 does not seem to be on there. There you go. Right, what we're going to do is jump straight into a battle. I'm going to join on that, so that means that everything is the right aspect ratio. But no, I hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, it should be a lot of fun. Let's see. Okay, this is looking a pretty scary team. So what we've got here is Mega Manectric, um, probably a... Um, is that going to be Calm Mind Clefable? Could potentially be there. All I see is a lot of threats on this team. We have to watch out for Intimidate with uh, the Bisharp as well. So that's not going to be nice if that does decide to come in. So the question is, do we go for a more offensive start or do we go for a more defensive start? I don't really see much harm in leading off with the Rotom. Just because if he leads off Garchomp, we can handle that. And um, we do have to watch out and make sure we don't give that Mega Manectric a special attack boost. Because that could be problematic. We have got Heatran, which should be able to handle that as well. Um, and also Landorus, which, which has speed. So it shouldn't be massive, a massive problem. But I think we're going to lead off with Rotom here. Does lead off with Garchomp. I'm just going to slap this guy with a burn. I think that's probably our best bet here. So he does set up the rocks. Getting the burn on that is actually going to make quite a bit of difference. Now the question is... Are we going to be cheeky? Do we Volt Switch and be really, really cheeky? Because there's nothing this guy can really do to us. Um, I think we're going to be cheeky. He does decide to stay in. Ah, Goes to Dragon Tail. Okay, so that really didn't do a huge amount. Go out, goes out to Heatran. We're just going to go out into our Rotom Wash because there's no way we are staying in to take an EQ there. Uh... We do manage to uh, avoid that, which is really, really nice. And I'm just going to fire off a Hydro Pump at this point. We just need to get rid of this guy. That's a good amount of damage. Dragon Tail is going to start wearing down our Rotom, which isn't ideal. But now we're in with Reiku, and we can actually uh, just go for Hidden Power Ice and take this guy out. As he goes out into Clefable, that's very interesting, trying to preserve that. So what we're going to do here is... I mean, Heatran is our go-to guy there. And that means we can set up rocks. Or we could go into Sizzle. But these guys do normally run Flamethrower. Has got leftovers. We don't still don't know if this is unaware or... Um, yeah, we don't know if it's unaware or Magic Guard. So we've got to watch out for that. He doesn't know what set our Heatran is. So I'm going to go into Heatran here and put the pressure on this way. It is Calm Mind. Okay. Right, this is going to cause us some problems. Um, what we're going to do here is... I'm just going to go for the raw here. Goes down to Garchomp. Okay, we could have set up our rocks there. Goes down to Bisharp. Now, that's a nice little switch for us because that means our Lava Plume is going to do a fair amount. Does go down to Slowbro. Okay. Well, what set is this Slowbro? We get a burn on that, which is really, really nice. Um, I see no harm in going out into Rotom. And then what we're going to do is we're going to play some funny business. Maybe that wasn't the best switch, actually. We do take those schools relatively well, but now we can either pain split on the Manectric or fire off another Hydro Pump. Because I'm sure that Manectric's coming in. Out comes the Garchomp. Okay, well, it's lucky we didn't uh, pain split because that would have been completely useless. But um, we should be able to rest, uh, to be able to heal up on something else. Even the Slowbro which should be pretty good. Um, I'm not too sh sure what to expect from here. I mean, if the Manectric, the Manectric could come out. We have to make sure, um, actually we have a lot of answers to Salmon Flame, I just realised. Um, okay. How manly is this guy, is the question. Do we make the, ma the really, really dodgy play and go out into Landorus? He wouldn't, I wouldn't expect him to HP Ice here. Let's go for it, let's go for it. We're young, we're free. Let's do what we want to do. <laughs> Does go for it. That was an excellent play on his part. Absolutely brilliant. Not much... It's a shame, but uh, what this means, though, is we can actually set up our Stealth Rocks to that Talon Flame. Uh, yeah, let's go for Stealth Rocks here. Decides to stay in. Going for the Volt Switch, that's fair enough. Uh, but we can, still, we can still set up our Rocks, which is going to limit that Talon Flame potential. Goes down to Talonflame now. Well, what we're going to do is I don't trust this guy at all. So we're just going to go for a raw. He could be that bulk upset. Goes for the taunt. Okay, okay. I see. I think we just go into Rotom here. Okay, so he's out into this. 
I mean, this is a free Volt Switch for us. Or we could Pain Split here and get some HP back. I think we need to get some HP back. And that did a lot less than I expected. Does go for the Slack off there. Okay, so that's great. So we can go for a... I think we just go for Volt Switch here. See what he decides to go for. What we need to do, though, is we do need to Mega up um, as soon as we can. But I can't really switch this in now. So I going to have to take a Scald. And I think we're going to have to risk it and say Scissor's going to take the Scald. As much as I dislike this. Please don't burn. It doesn't burn. Okay, that's great. What we're going to do now is we're just going to fire off a U-turn. Because we outspeed this guy. If we can take out the Slowbro, that would be great. Out into Talonflame. Okay, so that's what that's nice. That's really, really nice. Because I really don't see much that like, appreciates a Hydro Pump from Rotom. Um, I mean, the Slowbro can, but then we Volt Switch straight out. So it's going to do a fair amount to that guy. Um, how much did the Volt Switch do? 54%. Or we just Volt Switch. Let's just Volt Switch. What am I saying? <laughs> okay, so now we have the Clefable in. Question is 240 speed. 273 speed. So, will a poison jab kill from there? I'm going to run the damage calcs on this actually. Um, I do apologize. Let's see. Because I'm interested to see how much this Beedrill will be able to do with a, a poison jab. Because if it can, not Deedrill, Beedrill. <laughs> Beedrill. Um, poison jab against Clefable. Calm mind. Oh, easily. Easily. Okay. Okay, so we just go out into Billy here. And we get our Mega up, which is really nice. He doesn't seem to have a Scarf. We have to watch out for that Talonflame, though. But um, we can Mega Evolve here. Go for that nice Poison Jab. Does go into Bishop. That was a good play. Maybe I'm playing too simply. <laughs> what we can do, though, is uh, go out into our Rotom. Have to watch out for the SD. But he is kind of forced to Sucker Punch. Because if I have the drill run, he's in trouble. Does go for the Sucker Punch. Okay. What we're going to do here is fire off a Hydro Pump. D that does almost nothing. Is that That's AV. That is almost certainly AV. Okay. I was expecting a switch there. We're going to Willow this guy. Because this is a big threat to our team. Does go for the Pursuit. Okay, that's great. We can actually uh, Pain Split here. And he forfeits. Okay, so that's great. That's great. What we're going to do is jump onto another one. A bit disappointing with how I played, I must admit. We co probably could have played that a bit better. I was playing a little bit simply. But I haven't done OU in a very long time. Um, <laughs> apart from to really testing this team. So, let's see. Against Roddy. Doesn't have rocks. Unless the Bisharp has rocks. But no one ever... I know, I guess he, he could do on the Manectric. Not Manectric. What am I saying? The Infinape. Um, <laughs> what we're going to do here is, I think, see, Rotom lead, for me, is really obvious. I don't see much that handles Heatran outside of maybe the Slowbro, and uh, obviously the Infinape as well, but we do have uh, good switchings for that. I think what we're going to do is we're going to lead off Lando, because that's going to confuse the opponent. Does go out into Bisharp, go, gets that Defiant boost. I think we are forced to EQ here. We cannot afford to let this Bishop do anything. Absolutely anything at all. Does go into Sizzle. Okay, that's a good amount of damage. What we're going to do here, though, is I'm going to... He's going to go straight out into Latios. So I think what we do here is we make a double out into Heatran. Decides to stay in. Matt, we could have just killed that Sizzle. <laughs> <laughs> okay then um i did not expect that play at all um what we can do though is i think we go on to rotom here because rotom should be able to take these close combats fairly well not as well as i like but um what we're going to do though is just go for a volt switch here because if he stays in and we hydro pump it would do a lot does go on to latius okay this is great this is great because what we can do now is we can go back out into our Landorus. And then fire off a U-turn. Hopefully force him out this way. Does decide to stay in. 
So we just go straight out into our heat tram because our heat tram can take pretty much anything from this. Surf. Okay. Fair enough. Um, right. That's very interesting. I've not really seen surf on Latias before. Um, we do kind of need this for the superior. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to make a series of plays here. We're going to go out into Rotom. Goes for Healing Wish. Okay, we could have set up our rocks then. But I do need that as a reasonable amount of HP to be able to take out the superior. We, we've got ways around it, but it could potentially still sweep. Goes out into Sizzle. Um, I think we fire off a Willow here, because he is very keen to keep this in. No, he's going to go out into Heat. He's going to go into... Um, no, that wasn't the play to make. Goes down to superior. Okay. Well, what we do is... I know these sometimes carry HP ground. But this is the last real special attacker that Heatran can handle. So, Heatran, you've got to do your job here. Goes for Leaf Storm. Okay. We're just going to fire off a Lava Plume here. Because we could burn the Scizor again. Oh, no, the, the Slowbro. And this is when we find out if he's got HP ground or not. He doesn't have HP ground. Okay, that's huge information. Okay. We don't get burn on the the, uh, the slow bro. But what it means is we could go out into Rotom here. And we can pain split. Yeah, I think pain splitting is our best bet here. Considering how much HP the slow bro is in. We do outspeed slow bro. We can get a huge, huge amount of damage back. Okay, this is, this is starting to get scary. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to Volt Switch. We have got the Beedrill. That's what we need to remember. Is Beedrill just destroys Slowbro. So there's almost no point in him doing this. Um, let's see. How does Reiku do? I mean, Reiku's okay. I think we go into Reiku because we can take a plus one Scald. He, may, he does set up another Calm Mind. Okay, that's excellent. Um... Life or Breaku, we should be able to do a good amount of damage to this guy. Just with a Thunderbolt. There's no point going into anything else. Okay, so that's great. We're now in a much better position because he's now lost uh, his Slowbro as well. Goes down to Infinite. This this is Scarfed Infinite. It has to be Scarfed. So we just go out. What do we need Rotom for? Rotom handles the Sizzle to an extent. Um, can handle the Bishop because we can burn it. Whereas Landris is actually starting to become more of a liability because Bishop is more becoming more and more of a problem. I think Landris should be able to take a close combat if he get, decides to go for that. Does just go for U-turn. Okay, he's got his own fault turn going on there. <laughs> but um, Force out Superior is almost certainly not a switch here. It's got leftovers, so we just U-turn. I have no idea what this guy's trying to achieve there. <laughs> but what we can do now is actually go out into Rotom. And I see nothing apart from the Superior would want to take a Hydro Pump. So it does end up forfeiting again. Okay, so that's great. I think what we're going to do here is actually wind up uh, this half of the live. Don't worry, there will be the second half of the live out on Wednesday. So if you did enjoy this, guys, do, uh, yeah, do leave a like if you did enjoy this. And um, I will see you guys at the next one. Caddy out.